So the first stage was really just about figuring out what this project was going to be and where all the problems sort of lay. And so now that we've worked that out, now we get the fun part of actually trying to solve some of the problems. So having three years, um, we're kind of dividing the project up. For the first year, we're going to be looking at um, commercial and criminal aspects of surrogacy. In the second year, we're going to look more about more into the family and the child dynamics. And in the final year, we're going to look at various um, regulatory models and try to see if we can find a way to achieve everything we need to achieve. Well, our, our laws are actually in the Human Assisted Reproductive Technology Act of 2004. Right, so they're already 12 years out of date. And 12 years when you're talking about artificial reproduction and how quickly the science develops, it's a really long time. So our, our current regulation is, is pretty limited. In the, the Heart Act itself, there are two provisions that basically um, prohibit commercial surrogacy and hold that contracts are not enforceable. Um, in addition to that, sort of almost hidden in, in the, the Act is a requirement that um, if you're going through a domestic altruistic surrogacy arrangement, you need to go through the Ethics Committee on Assisted Reproductive Technologies and get their approval first. And so that's really the way that surrogacy is regulated in, in New Zealand, um, a pre-approval from the Ethics Committee if you want to use a fertility clinic to help you during the surrogacy. There really aren't that many people that are willing to fund it. I mean, it's such an important issue that, that has to be addressed and has to be addressed reasonably quickly, but there aren't that many funders that are, that are willing to take a chance on something that is so broad. The, the way the Law Foundation is helping out is just simply enabling us to carry out this project. Um, worldwide there are a lot of little mini projects on surrogacy happening with a lot of places realising that this needs addressing. But we're the only project that we know of that is actually able to take a, a, a really wide view and our project team has people from multiple disciplines. And I think the Law Foundation is, is really helping out by being willing to fund something that is so broad and it's just it's allowing us to, to ask questions and do research that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do. I think the most important thing that we're doing is actually identifying what some of these issues are. We're moving, I think, as a society beyond the, the traditional two-parent model of, of parentage. And the law isn't, isn't keeping up with that. And I think surrogacy is the first artificial reproductive technology that's really sort of highlighting some of these and pointing out that there are other people that may be considered um, parents of the child and this then requires the law to sort of rethink itself and, and ask who the legal parents of the child should be. I think in the short term the, the biggest impact it can have is just by starting conversations, you know, making the public aware of some of the issues, having discussions with academics and trying to sort of see where the issues are and get some ideas of how they can be resolved. So we're speaking a lot at conferences, um, getting ideas that way. The project also has a website and a, and a blog, which is a way of sort of explaining the issues in a way that may be more accessible to, to the public and allow them to sort of understand what the issues are. In the long term, uh, the real aim of the project, I think, is to aid the idea of reform. So there's a, a private members bill on surrogacy currently in the ballot, and our hope is that if that gets pulled and the issue starts being debated, some of the ideas that our project is coming out with can be used to inform the debate and lead to that bill being more effective and um, just taking into account more of the interests of, of each of the parties. So when we do get a new law, it's as effective as it can.